Ready yourself for the opening exchanges in this one. Ready? Gotcha, you got me. The Pacific Test is underway. They will rip in from the first encounter. And it's Jeff Lima with the first carry for Samoa. Move, come back. Into Kite Sikamanu. Now Roy Asatasi. As mentioned, 24 Move. tests for New Zealand. Tonight is his first oh. for Samoa. Yes, the Sense played the same way. Lama Tassi. Lima again, his second carry in the opening set. He takes play within 10 of halfway. Now Petty Bourne. Shrugging his way past one defender, they come to the last. It's Tua Mavavi completing the first set for Samoa. A kick straight to Glenn Fiziati. Greeted by the kicker along with Antonio Winterstein. Well, we spoke before the game of oh, and there's been a mistake early. Fanua dropping the football. The Samoans pat each other on the back. Good pressure from the markers to get out in his face there. Mahe Fanua just taking his eyes off the ball. The pass just behind slightly. He didn't slow himself down to make sure he got a, a good hold of it. Just watching the Tongan side line up in defence too. And you've got Daniel Foster out in the right. We spoke about the young halves. Daniel Foster out the right, uh, Samsoni Lange out in the left-hand side. So we'll see which way Samoa like to go and target the, the smaller men and the inexperienced ones. Their first tests, and they are yet to play at NRL level. Out. What an assignment for them tonight. As Samoa find themselves in a handy position. Junior Sauer wrapped up by Moy Moy. Foster is down low for Tonga along with Anthony Tupo. Two South Sydney men up front for Samoa, Lima and Roy Asatasi. The ball was dropped by Matthew Wright. And Tonga come away, over their 20. They survived the first onslaught. No, a great opportunity there for Samoa. Poor pass. And ben Roberts threw it behind Matthew Wright. Made it hard for him to, to take a couple of early mistakes from both sides. See what can here from acting half. Goes to... Tupo is put on his back. Charles Tonga electing to start with Harvili is a good run here. Puts Tonga on the front foot. And bring Nafe Selueni off the bench. Now Moy Moy. Bringing a big cheer from the Tongan crowd. Harvili. Foster who... As his first run, dummies and takes a shot from the two front rowers at Samoa. Asatasi and Lima. Avili runs and kicks. It's off Samoa. Picked up by Foster. Lange straight and hard into the end goal. Samson and Lange gives Tonga first points in the Pacific showdown. Well, the fifth tackle was still indicated. They might have been looking for a six to go call, but it was the kick into the legs of Roberts to ricochet. Check and called fifth tackle, and Lange, just off the right foot, beats three defenders and has the strength to get across the try line. Foster passes the ball out. Big right foot step twice for Lange. The Roosters, under 20s, 5'8". Made a move from the Bulldogs last year mid-season when Sam Perrett made his way to the Bulldogs, well, Lange went from the Dogs across to the Roosters. He played a couple of trials in the in the first grade team this year for the Roosters. They, they see him as not only a 5'8", but also a back rower. And he showed plenty of power in that run, that sidestepping run for the, the opening try. He's been on Peter O'Sullivan's radar for a while, and he just showed us why. What a confidence-boosting start for the young Tongan halves. A run from Daniel Foster and then the try from Samsoni Lange, who's going to try and convert. He's opening four-pointer. 
leading the Holden Cup in try assists, but doing it himself early in this test. Langu converts 6-0 to Tonga. They led by the same margin when they met in 2010. Only to be run down, can they hang on tonight, Mark Gaznia? Well, you'd want to hope so, but I tell you what, the start of this game has been absolutely amazing. Those Harkers, <laughs> I was intimidated, I'm bloody 20 metres away. Look, great start from Tonga, they look the more enthusiastic of the two. World of, world of good for the young Lange, that's going to be amazing for his confidence. Let's have a look at their set now after points. Always described as so important. Moi Moi, a good man to take the first hit up. They love him at Parramatta. Well, there's some love for him here at Penrith as well tonight. Thui Thui Moi Moi. Clear him now! As Kite takes Tonga to the 30 metre line. He's two out of game for Manly last weekend, and a penalty to Tonga now. Pettiborn, the man, penalised there. Yeah, Tupo. It's a little high. Matt Checken. We heard him at the start of the game on his own tonight. Of course, one referee. Say a couple of times, Dutchy Dutchy. Now, he was talking to his sideline officials. The, and the touch, judge, touch judges have got a pretty important job here tonight. They need to have their eyes in the back of their head with one referee. Tonga just get away with that one, just finding touch. They needed to have keen eyes right there because Tonga went perilously close, not to finding touch. Chasing consecutive tries to open this test. 13 metres out. One more again. Runs into a shot from Asatasi. to check his run, didn't quite time it as he would have liked. And as a result, his easy pickings for the blue defensive line. Havili, out the back, Foster, nice hands to Manu. Sikamanu. Penrith leading try scorer this season with four. He's on his home track. He'd love another tonight. Foster, here's a chance for Siatolo Licky Licky, trying to get to ground. Held up. He was hit hard there by Junior Sow. Licky Licky looked like he might have been get, able to get on the outside of Sow then, but terrific contact and then got support from his fellow Samoans to hold Licky Licky up. He was a star of the Warriors under 20s program, Siatolo Licky Licky. Went to Newcastle. He's only played the three NRL games. He's out to impress this evening. Lima, shaped to pass, but took a tackle from Tupo and Kite. Now it's Asatasi. Hands away! When you think of Asatasi and Jeff Lima and even Eddie Pettiborn, who used to be a Rabbitoh, I wonder who Bunnies fans are supporting tonight. Maybe the answer is in those names I just gave you as Fisiahi slips and his easy pickings for Carlos Tuamavave and Yusefa. Crawling forward. Michael Oldfield. Fanu plays it. And Mormon crosses halfway with some room and he loses his legs from under him. A shot from Yusefa and then Tagatizi. Foster has long. And Etu Wasili, the former Penrith Panther, he'll know this ground as well. Foster, high, towards Matthew Wright, who doesn't get a hand to it. Knock on. Or does he? Well, if, he did, on. if he did, if he got a hand to it, they're off Jeff Lima's offside. But it'll be a Tongan ball anyway. He looked like he completely mistimed that Matthew Wright. There's the kick from Foster. Well, he, he didn't really want it. Matthew Wright, Boys, he didn't want to know much about back that up, one. Fellas. He pulled out of the, right. the contest. It looked to come off Roy, his hip here, and hit the hand of Anthony Tupo. But the scrum feed is going to be with Tonga. 
He did muck it up hopelessly, Matthew Wright, but they've copped some bad luck on top of that. He didn't look, it didn't look like his hand touched it. Havili from the back of the scrum to Taumalolo. The North Queensland Cowboy. Now Kite. Taumalolo at 19, the youngest man on the field, and Kite to play it, the oldest at 32. Very close to the line, Moi Moi! Well, he did well just to take that one. Fooey Fooey under plenty of pressure. Havili. The Tupo, now Foster, here's a chance. Licky Licky scores this time, and Tonga go back to back. Well, they've just had too much possession for Samoa to handle. They've had them on the back foot. They've been able to roll over the top of them. They might have been a bit fortunate. Foster did a great job to time that pass to Licky Licky. Could have easily mucked it up there, out the back to Foster. Nice little quick pass there to beat Daniel Vito, who'd given up on the tackle but tried to knock the football down as the bench go up. And try number two. They've had plenty of football but made the most of it. I mentioned his national youth competition record, 50 games, he scored 28 tries. So damaging for the Warriors. But it was easy there, just catch and run. Over he went, Tonga 10, Samoa nil. And Samsoni Lange trying to make it two from two with the boot. Well, just the speed that Tonga are playing the ball, Fui Fui has been damaging already. Five runs, been the busiest of the Tongan players, and there's been a handful. Lungy trying to push Tonga out by two converted tries. From near the western sideline, he starts it to the right, and that's where it finishes.